Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today, I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, right? That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. uploads every single day. You can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? So now, let's get to the video. So today, my nephews and nieces, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the best dunk packages and animations and characteristics of a really good center build, okay? So how we're going to break it down, first, I'm just going to go over some build like characteristics that you definitely want to have on a center and then from there we're going to show you the animations that i currently use on my center builds because obviously there is some really really good animations you definitely want to equip to have that gives you a really good advantage as playing as a center okay so without further ado let's head over to the my player builder let's talk about the build characteristics and then from there we will talk about the animations all right my nephews and nieces so now let's check it out all right so the big thing that you want to understand is that you definitely want to go power forward every single time you make a big, okay? So if you go center, you're just going to waste your 50 bucks because you're not going to get as many um, um, high attributes and you're not going to get as many badges, okay? So, you know, just to show you what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and make a center build real quick, all right? Let's just say, for instance, we go where most people want to do with the pure red, all right? And then check this out. So... You go, you max out your pass accuracy and all that, and you only get two playmaking badges, all right? You only get two, okay? You max out here. So if you was to do something like this, this is what you would try to do, right? You're trying to max out all this here. And this is for every single pie chart, by the way, right? If you're gonna only, if you're gonna spend 50 bucks on a build, right? You know, you definitely wanna get the best bang for your buck. See, you get 15 and 30, right? And in here, you get one. So 15, one, one, and 30, okay? Now let's back out. Let's real quickly go to the power four spot. All right, let's do the same thing. And then obviously you're gonna see a big difference. So now let's check it out. So here, same thing, you smack everything out here. All right, and you get 18, not 15, you get 18, okay? If you was to max out all your playmaking here, you get six, not one, but six, okay? So again, you will still get the 30, on your interior so like what most people would do it's pretty self-explanatory here all right just six here all right you can find boom um but anywho so you can see you have you have 30 so you can go 16 6 and 30 or you can max this out get 18 so there's so many different benefits that you get from making a power forward build okay so you want to go power forward all right the next thing if you're trying to make a competitive center build, the two most useful pie charts for a center is gonna be the pure red or the red and blue, okay? Now, most if this is if you wanna be just someone that's gonna get rebounds, set screens, play defense, roll to the basket, that type of deal. Those are the most important things. You wanna go with the pure blue, I mean the blue and red or the pure red, okay? Um, I would say most of the time, I'll say almost like 70% are gonna be pure red and then you get a couple that are red and blue, okay? The next thing, you want to go speed invert. No matter what you're doing, you wanna go speed invert because you wanna have as much speed as possible to be able to help on the pick and roll, okay? So speed invert along with the vert, meaning that you'll be able to jump higher. 84 vert here, if you go pure speed to 72, it's a 12 point swing. It makes absolutely no sense. There's only a three point swing from the speed. As you can see here, it's a 72 and then for pure speed to 75 three-point swing or a 12-point swing um it just to me it just makes more sense you got an 84 here you only got a 72 here that's a 12-point swing on your vert you want to go speed and vert okay now the next thing all right well let's just go ahead and make this out one, one more quick again all right let's get this all maxed out so you see for me 
here, and then we'll do it here. All right. And that can get you right at four. All right, so you get four right here, but yeah, so I would I would make mine something similar to this, right? I mean, there's many ways you can make it, but um, you can go here. Now, here's the thing. You want to be between 6'9 and 6'8. That is the, going to be the sweet spot. If you're going pure red, you can get away with 6'9, okay? Height. But if you really want to be OP and dominant, 6'8 is where you want to be, all right? Especially if you're going blue and red, you want to go 6'8 or 6'7. But the sweet spot is always 6'8. That's why you see most center builds are 6'8. And also for like wagers and that type of deal, you got to be at least 6'8 or taller. So that's why you, that's why most all my builds are going to be 6'8. Make it 6'8. Now, um, hold on. Let me make sure I don't like this body type. All right. So 6'8. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people drop their weight all the way down to 190. You see a lot of people do 190. Those for the nephews and nieces that want to have that pure speed, you see how high your perimeter defense will be. Okay. You max out the wingspan. Boom. You have an 87. I'll give you a 91. Your interior defense is only a 72. Now, you got the other people that will go all the way up to 246. You can go 190 or 246. Those are the two good ways. The 246 will give you a better interior defense of an 82. You do only get an 83 perimeter ladder quickness, but most center builds can get away with that. I prefer this route, but there's some people that strongly prefer the 190. So either go 190 if you really want to get the perimeter defense and ladder quickness really high, or you can go to 246, and that's still going to give you better interior defense. You won't get dunked on as much. Your speed will only be an 85 at 246, compared to if you go 190, your speed will be a ridiculous 94 speed, all right? So, I mean, like, you, you can just pick which which route you want to go, but to me, hold on, let me make sure I go all the way down here. All right. Boom. 190, and then you max, your, max it out, and you have a 90 speed, as you can see, okay? So, it's really up to you about which way you want to go. You always want to max your wingspan out regardless. Always max your wingspan out. So, just to recap. You want to make sure you get speed invert pie chart. You want to make sure you go 6'8". You want to make sure you're either 190 or 246. And you want to make sure you have your arm span maxed out, right? That's going to give you the comp center build that you want. Again, pure red or the red and blue. Remember, this is going to be for centers that are just setting screens, playing defense, getting rebounds, that type of deal, all right? Your true paint beast or glass cleaning finishers, okay? Now, let's head over to my animations, all right? All right, my nephews and nieces, so we're back now, okay? So we're back on my finisher build, just to get you an idea. As you see, he's 6'8", he's 190, okay? Um, this is not the ideal situation for a build. When you go pure, this right here is pure speed, so as you can see here, if we go to the progression, my vert's only a 78, so I went pure speed with this, and it's, if you go pure speed, you get a 94, but to me, 85 to 90. If you go speed invert, and then you get one nine, um, I'm sorry, speed invert, and then if you go 190 and wait, it'll give you a 90 speed. If you go speed invert and go 246, it'll give you 85 speed. And to me, 85 and 90, they're still good enough to play really good defense, um, pick and roll defense to help out the guard those play shots, okay? But I was making a rare build and it was a finisher and I just wanted to try to do something differently. So I went pure speed here, but don't look at that, all right? Now, let's go into the animation so what i did was this build does not have animations equipped so i want to go over the animations that are really really dope that you really want to have okay so um first and foremost we're going to go to layups if i can get there layups you always want to get long athlete okay so long athlete you got to at least have a 70 driving layup it's the most comp layup package you want to get um, and that's for any build. Any build wants to get long athlete. It's just really good animations, as you see, as far as getting to the basket. It doesn't get blocked as much just because it literally does a lot to protect the ball and get straight to the rim. Nothing fancy. It's just straight to the rim, attacking the basket, okay? You always want to go long athlete. Now, contact dunks. You're going to be able to get every single contact dunk possible, right? So when you make these builds, you will be able to get all these except for the small contact dunks. The elite contact dunks, as you see at the bottom left, you need an 85 driving dunk. And then if you see down here for the pro contact dunks, I already have this one equipped. I'm sorry for that. You need to have an 84 driving dunk. So you at least want to have an 85 driving dunk to be able to have that. For a big man contact dunk, you just need to have a 70 driving dunk. I'm sorry, send a 70 standing dunk and a 50 driving dunk. That's it. But you better get that. But this is very important right here, big man contact dunks. And we'll get to that in a second. All right. So... Now let's go to what is most important, right? So there's literally about five 
players that you can get that's going to be really, really OP, okay? Now, me personally, the dump packages that I have equipped, and that's all I have equipped, is Ben Simmons, all right? And with Ben Simmons, all you need is a 70 standing dunk and a 70 driving dunk. You want to get Ben Simmons, and I go at Carl Anthony Towns. As you look at Carl Anthony Towns, he still has those dunk packages, big man um, dunks around the basket, but then he also can have a couple flashy. I don't see, as you see right here, boom. So he has some nice little flashy dunks to this side. They're either going to be sideways tom tomahawk dunks or the ball straight above his head. There's nothing behind his head, which really is going to prevent you from getting dunked on a lot. So you'll get those animations, which is really good with this build. Now, there are some other people that love to get the Shaquille O'Neal packages. But to me, I feel like the Shaquille O'Neal packs are good. But he has like a lot of his dunks are just like very unorthodox. Um, they are straight to the basket, but I just don't necessarily want those. Um, I feel like Ben Simmons and Carl Anthony Towns are going to be the best dunk packages you can get. Shaquille O'Neal and then Dwight Howard will be the second tiers, I'll say. Dwight Howard, I, the reason why I stopped going against Dwight Howard, I used to get blocked behind a lot with him, but he has some crazy animations. Um, but he does a lot of behind the back dunks as you see the, the last three you just saw there are a lot Look at that. All those are like behind the behind the head and those get blocked that dunk right there You see these dunks right here. Those are the ones you want to get right because those aren't gonna get blocked as much But yeah, so for me those is it now the next and then um, The third tier will be Sean Kemp I love Sean Kemp dunks and the reason why I like Sean Kemp is because he has a lot of athletic dunk packages that are going to give you reverse dunks that are really, really good. There's not a lot of good re reverse dunks that you can get, but Sean Kemp, as you see right here, that um, but right there, those are going to give you the best dunk animations um, for reverses and stuff. And he has a little more flashy dunks that aren't necessarily going to get blocked. And then the last one here is going to be um, Dominique Wilkins. Now, with this build, I don't have the 75 because I'm, I'm a um, 84 driving dunk. I have the... Um, I'm only a 98 on the build, but Dominique Wilkins is another good dunk package that you want to have, okay? And the reason why you want to have these along the big man contact dunks is because it's going to allow you to get the um, pausing dunks, right? So that's what he called it because I know like the there's a creator, his name's pausing, and he does like, he I guess he started the whole thing where you take a step back, you go to the basket and dunk it. So what we're going to do real quick is, is um, I'm going to um, wrap this up, but those are the dunk packages that you want to have. Um, that's the layups you want to have in the height and weight. So hopefully, my nephews and nieces, you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon with another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. It really be your own. I don't gotta worry about nobody when alone. Niggas go to switching every time. I got niggas wanna see me down. It's sad, I got niggas praying on my downfall Yeah, don't get me started, I know it all so well She know I got it, I make it juice, oh yeah Fuck out the plan and make a move somewhere Cause I know what it's like when niggas wanna see you gone Gave them everything and all they ever got was wrong Causing all these problems, I got demons around me